Hey guys, this is Pradeep from SeleniumFramework.com. In this video, we are going to see how we write our first behave Python script and execute it. Um, now, most likely you might have ended up on this video through um, the SeleniumFramework.com website. So if you hover on tutorials, under Python, you would find Selenium Python basic tutorial. So on the left, you would see the menu. Uh, they are organized into sub menus. Uh, let you go into the introduction what is Python Selenium behave and under the behave first um, you would find the first project first behave gherkin first behave step definition and first Selenium script now in this video we are going to see how we write the first behave gherkin and its corresponding step definition execute it and see the results um, pass so um, by the time I record, I'm recording this video, I have already written that. And so uh, all of those details, if you go into, let's say, for example, first behave gherkin, all of those details are already logged with uh, screenshots. So um, it's not too complicated. All we are doing here is creating a gherkin file, uh, specifying our test case uh, where we have two integers A and B. And when I add the numbers, uh, we print the result of the addition. Um, so all the screenshots are here and so now let's jump into the project. So as you can see, um, this is our first behave dot feature, uh, the keyword feature. Sorry about that. Um, anyways. So let's go here and um, once again, uh, look at the feature file. So the feature file has one scenario, which is add two numbers. Given I have two numbers A and B, when I add the numbers, I print the addition results. Um, the corresponding step definition file for it, as you can see, is, you know, first underscore behave dot pi. So what we do here is we have two integers A and B uh, we set those values in the context and then uh, we add them into another variable called sum which we also set in context and eventually print the values. So let's go ahead and run it and see how it works. Now for running um, you can right click on the scenario and you can say run first scenario like this. So you can see uh, briefly a browser pop up and close that's because the project eventually would be focusing on Selenium. So I had a, a precondition or a setup part where I'm launching the browser. Uh, but anyways, um, you know, the browser is not going to interrupt with what we are doing here. It just pops up and closes. Um, you should see this output where you can see that the sum of one and two is three and you can see everything is green here. That means this uh, scenario passed. Now on the other hand, if you'd like to execute the same from the command line, um, what you can do is uh, you can right click on the root of the project, copy path so that you know uh, on your file system where the path exists, copy this path and then um, navigate to uh, the root folder and type behave features, first behave dot feature, okay? So if I execute this now, you can see that uh, the same output, but now on the command line, um, all of these steps are green. That means um, they have passed. Okay, so that's our first, uh, you know, Python behave uh, script. Uh, and uh, I, I hope, uh, you know, this was uh, simple enough to get you started. Um, obviously, you would have to go through the environment setup in the previous uh, uh, section where we have described how to set up Python behave and uh, Selenium. Okay, um, so with that said, that is the first uh, behave scenario. Now let's jump into quickly how we write our first Selenium script here. So again, uh, the first Selenium script has already been written. What we do here is we describe our feature, open website and print title. Uh, our first scenario is we open the Selenium framework website and we print the title. Okay, as simple as it, we open Selenium Framework website and we print the title. So what are the corresponding step definitions? So if we hop into the step definitions, you can see at the top, it says 
from behave import that is because we need the given and then um, matchers from the behave so they are imported and here we said given I open a selenium framework website um, and the, the, the function which uh, gets implemented the definition of the code that gets executed is context.browser.get so this is the first selenium um, API exposed by the Python Selenium library where we want to enter a URL in a browser what we do is browser.get and since our browser object resides in the context what we do is we call context.browser.get and we pass in our URL. For printing the title uh, we retrieve context.browser.title assign it to a variable and we assert that the title contains Selenium. Okay, that is our assertion there. Um, so let's go ahead and execute and see how this works. Again, right click on the scenario and run. You can see that now uh, seleniumframework.com website is uh, open. Um, and we should uh, see momentarily. There you go. Um, it has asserted and this should be the output. Now the same thing, let's see how it executes from the command line. Okay, so instead of first behave, I'm going to execute first selenium.feature. Okay, you can see that uh, both the steps are green and all of them passed. It took about uh, eight seconds. Um, so, so yeah, that's, uh, that's our first project, first behave uh, scenario adding two numbers and first Selenium script. Um, you know, in the next uh, couple of uh, sections, we will dive into Selenium API commands uh, for Python and uh, we will see um, all the good stuff what uh, Selenium offers us. We have already covered a lot with uh, Java and Ruby on the website seleniumframework.com. So uh, let's try to model um, whatever maturity we have built on the Ruby and Java side uh, on the Python side. I'm excited and I hope uh, you're equally uh, with the Python uh, uh, coding style. All right, thank you very much.